Hey everyone, it's Julie. Today we'll be making bocconcini. Super simple to make. I love throwing these little guys into my pasta or salad, but frying them, well, that's just magical. It really is. So let's get started. So these are the bocconcinis I'm going to use. They're pretty big. They do have much smaller ones. Those are adorable. You can use those if you'd like. These retain a lot of water, so I suggest placing them inside of a sieve or a cheesecloth for about an hour or you can leave it overnight. Let's get our breading station prepared. You'll need two eggs, give them a whisk, and you can add a little bit of Parmesan cheese, a splash of milk to the eggs, whatever you normally do when you fry things. Let's set this aside and get started on our breadcrumbs. I'm going to season the breadcrumbs with some salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. I do not recommend grating fresh garlic or onions into the breadcrumbs. It will burn, so use powder to give it that extra flavor. Years ago, I made homemade onion rings. I decided to grate some fresh garlic and fresh onion into the breadcrumbs, and well, now I'm telling you not to do that. Let's set this aside and start seasoning the all-purpose flour. I like to use lots of pepper, a pinch of salt. You season this to your liking, of course. And we're going to coat the bocconcinis in the flour. And these are just balls of mozzarella cheese. They should be very easy to find. You can usually find them at an olive or a salad bar. Now, I personally think that these tend to be a bit bland if they're not marinated in olive oil and spices or tossed in a pasta with sauce or tossed in a salad with a balsamic dressing, etc. Therefore, I think it's very important to season the breadcrumbs and flour really well and I also recommend dipping these in a nice flavorful sauce they do melt beautifully the texture is very good and the taste is out of this world if you prepare them well once you're done coating them in the flour you may place them in a sieve to sift out the excess flour or you can just shake them off with your hands and dip them straight into the eggs the eggs are going to help the breadcrumbs stick so make sure that you coat them really well Coat them in the breadcrumbs and you want to coat them twice. So after you roll them around in the breadcrumbs, you want to roll them around in the eggs and then onto the breadcrumbs one more time. Coating them twice is going to prevent the cheese to leak out. Also, they're going to be crispier and the cheese won't be visible. Meaning, sometimes when you fry mozzarella cheese, you'll notice that some parts are white. That's the cheese, of course. Well, you shouldn't be able to see the cheese until you bite into it. Coating them twice will prevent that. You want to freeze them for about 20 minutes after you're done coating them. And then you want to fry them in vegetable oil for about a minute or two. They cook really fast, so be careful. Place them on top of some paper towel for a couple of minutes before serving them. And they don't look greasy at all, which is great. A tiny bit of cheese did leak out. Mm -hmm. I did play the guessing game with my family and made them guess what these were. One said falafel and the other said fried macaroni and cheese. And I just thought, man, fried macaroni and cheese? <laughs> okay, I dipped these in a delicious vodka sauce. You can serve them with regular marinara sauce whatever you want these were amazing i really enjoyed these and i have a big feeling you guys will too and now just look at that cheese that's something that needs to be praised it's perfect i really hope you guys give this recipe a try not really recipe technique a try hope you enjoyed this video and thank you all so much for watching